up. It's the Brewmans. Another review. Rob Hunter, Mike Russell. We are the Brewmans. Mike, what are we doing today? We're doing Ballast Point Habanero Sculpting. Now, I get excited about this. And the reason why I get so excited about this, so geeked up, because it's Sculpting. Sculpting's one of my favorite beers mm -hmm. ever made. Ballast Point just knocked the ball out of the park with this one. But they have different variations. They have the grapefruit sculpin as well. Which is delicious. Which is really good, yep. by the way. And then they have the habanero sculpin right here. A little, a, little, a little spicy meatball. So we're gonna see where the IPA meets spice. We're gonna check this thing out. Yeah, you do your wedding ring thing. I'm just gonna do the old fashioned flip the bottle. One day I'll get it. I was practicing this week, didn't go very well. Uh, ah. So if you haven't seen that video, refer to it on the YouTube page. So here yeah. we go. That was point out of San Diego, California, by the way. Yes. With this habanero sculpin, super spicy. What? <laughs> Say that again. Spicy. <laughs> it smells spicy. You just it put it up here and you're like, wow. It smells like fresh habanero. Yep. I don't speak Spanish. It, <laughs> habanero, habanero is Spanish for spicy or flaming. <laughs> one of the two. Woo! That's spicy. <sighs> Have to. Listen up, sure. Holy! <laughs> Woo! You need to, you gotta want this. Yeah. Oh. So this is almost, it's not almost, it is too spicy. It's it's good, it's delicious. It's got a nice blend of the beer and the IPA with the spice. But I'm saying it's clearing my sinuses. You got a limit on this. Yeah, you're gonna clear your sinuses. You want one of these, that's what you want, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I do want one of these because it is delicious. But, but you're man, done I'm after one. You, I don't know about if you're done after one. You got to muscle through this, man. You got to go over the top. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, Sly Stallone. You want to arm wrestle while we're here? Yes. I don't because you'll win. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I always say this about IPAs. You want the bite, you want the hop to just split your tongue in half. But this, this spice is settling so firmly in my throat right now. This is a tough one. This is a sipping beer. Yeah. This is kind of an end your night on something kind of beer. First time I saw this, Mike, I bought a six pack. I was like, ooh, this sounds good. I like right. habanero spices. I like sculpin. I like ballast point. Let's get it. So I bring it to this party and I'm like, put them in the cooler. I'm like, yep, I keep going back. Nobody's touching it. So I drink one. <laughs> I'm like, that's good. I drink another one. I drank two. Then I drank three and I was like, oh my God. Fire. This is, this is the kind of beer that you taste at night and then you taste the next morning from the other side. And why is it, by the way, seriously, why is it that my can only recognize spicy as, as a flavor? I want to come on ice cream. They can't recognize ice cream, just hot. I got nothing on that, <laughs> nothing. I'm just gonna say, try this beer out if you like spice. If you do not like spice, this is not the beer for you. No, I'm saying it says habanero right there, right there. It says habanero. So you know what you're getting into. You know you're getting into a spicy beer, not something with just spice flavor to it. They actually made this beer spicy. This is something that, like I said, to end the night on, I like it a lot. Yeah, no, it's very good. I'm actually very excited good beer. to tell other people about this. This is a good beer. Well, that's what I would say, too, is that, yeah, tell people about it. But the three that I had at that party, too much. One, maybe two if you're crazy. Wait, 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 wait. When you say too much of that party was it because you just had two and you got a little ripped up or the next morning you're like oh that was too much no the spice just sat on my tongue for like four days i was like wow i'm still tasting that habanero <laughs> not what you're describing i'm not gonna get into that all right let's go ahead and score this okay up. let's score the beer go ahead you up all right i'm gonna give this i'm gonna get our scale is one to ten the beerometer as we call it here on the brewmans i'm gonna give it a solid seven and a half with the caveat being it's good one, it's good two after that, too much. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half, and I'm gonna give it eight, eight and a half as a specialty beer. As an IPA, okay. I'm gonna pull this down to like a five or a four and a half, because well, just, you just can't, you can't pull the hops out yeah. over the spice. But exactly. as a specialty beer, eight and a half all day long, because this is a, it's a conversation piece, mm -hmm. this is something you bring to a party, because people people need to experience, people who love beer need to experience this. Yeah, I would yeah. agree with that. Yeah. So eight and a half for Mike, Seven and a half for me. I think I can do this, man. Come on, buddy. You got it. Come on. I want to say it's an eight, eight on the barometer. Eight! Did I get it right? You did. Well, yes! Right, Cheers to getting it. math right. So that means go out, put it in your fridge, bring it to the party, because as Mike said, it will be a conversation. So I'll be like, who brought the habanero? I'll be like, that Who brought me. the habanero? <laughs> exactly. Some Some <laughs> <laughs> That's the Bro Man's review of the Ballast Point 
Habanero Sculpin. Go get yourself one today. Don't forget to hang out on our YouTube channel. Follow us on the Twitter and hit us up on what's that thing the kids are becoming? Insta. The Insta. That's old guys called Instagram. Instagram. You young guys call Insta. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, check it out. Yeah. And on the Twitter, on the tweet machine. Check it out. Till next time, Rob Hunter, Mike Russell, we're the Brewmans. This hurts my throat. <laughs>